Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Welcome to the webinar. Um, I am Kayla Zessen. Um, I am one of the digital solutions specialists here at Gordon Food Service. I service the Great Lakes Central, Great Lakes East, Southeast Division, as well as our national chains. Along with me, I also have Chip Gregory. Um, he is my counterpart that is out in pretty much every other division. So if you are out on the East Coast or in Central States, um, almost anywhere other than out West, you are probably going to be supported by Chip Gregory. So Chip is also on the call with me. Um, purpose of this webinar this morning is to demo our brand new ordering platform called Gordon Ordering. So many of you have received an email probably either this week, this week or last announcing the launch of this new system. The purpose of this webinar is really just to dig into some of those new features that I think will be especially beneficial to you all and hopefully get you a little bit more comfortable navigating the new system. So just a little bit of housekeeping. You guys can hear me, but I cannot hear you on this webinar platform. So if you do have questions, please use that question box. I believe it's gonna be on your um, right-hand panel. So if you type those questions into the question box, um, we will try to get those addressed as needed. Um, hopefully I will answer all questions throughout the webinar, but if we need to answer anything else, please let us know what your questions are in that question box. So with that, we will go ahead and get started. So before jumping in to everything that's new, let's start by talking about what's familiar with this new system. So the majority of the functionality you'll notice is really the same as the old system. So it's got a new look and feel, but all of our uh, core functionality that you need to be able to place your order in the most efficient way possible, all of that is still there. So we can still search, filter, and order from both your order guide as well as the full product catalog. You can manage your order guides as well as custom guides, and I will talk about custom guides more in just a minute. Um, we can still view all your order and invoice history in the system. So last 30 days of order history and last 13 months of invoice history. Your more product details, um, including item level order history and nutrition info, that's all gonna remain on that more product details page, very similar to the old system. And if you're someone who uses PAR levels to place your order, this option is also still available um, on this new system. As well as our EPO catalog of items, so those are those drop ship items that come directly from the vendor. Those are going to be available in the system, digital coupons, and submitter and approver functionality if you are someone that uh, takes advantage of those features. So over the course of the next 15 minutes or so, we're going to dig into the new features a little bit different, or a little bit deeper, I'm sorry. Um, but before we do that, I'll just talk at a high level, here's what's new, here's what to get excited about. So our new value features, those are going to be order cutoff times critical items list, which is a set up, to reminder, uh, set up reminder to order items, inventory validation while ordering. And again, I'm gonna speak uh, further into each one of these in the next few slides. So I'm breezing over them right now, but I promise we'll get into it. <clears throat> Your last order and invoice date, as well as quantities, order editing, and that includes editing order quantities and the ability to cancel your, your full order if you need to. We've got a new way to compare products. We can do up to five items side by side. We have um, a new way to save or share a cart as well. So we'll dig deeper into each one of these new features throughout the webinar here. But I do wanna note before getting into those, what's still coming soon? So in-store pickup and express delivery. If you are a customer that takes advantage of our store program, so placing orders to a store for pickup on an off delivery day, you can still place those orders. Just know that you're gonna have to go back to the old site for now to do that. So that specific feature is not gonna be available in Gordon Ordering. So when you sign into Gordon Ordering, you will not see that option to order for in-store pickup. Again, you can still do that. You just need to go back to that old platform to do store orders. All of your truck orders you should be able to do from this new platform. So first and foremost, how do we get access? How do you log into Gordon Ordering? Um, well, some of you may have stumbled upon this already. Um, some of you may have gone in to explore a little bit, but if you haven't, 
what you're going to do is start from our main site, gfs.com, and go to sign in. You're going to see a page that looks like this. Hopefully, this looks familiar. If it does not, you're probably using a bookmark, and that bookmark is going to have to be changed. So my guess is you're using a bookmark that's going directly into that old site. You're going to want to delete that um, and resave a new bookmark to this specific sign-in page. So again, gfs.com, sign in, and then this is where you get this uh, choose your adventure page, I like to call it. So over on the left-hand side, that's where you go to our existing platform, the one that you're used to, the one that you're going to have to go to for in-store pickup. And then if you want to use the new platform, that is going to be over on the right-hand side where it says new Gordon ordering. Um, just so that you know, you're going to have access to both platforms for a time. Um, you're going to be able to go back and forth between the two as needed. We hope that you take advantage of the new features of the new platform as much as possible. But again, if you do need to fall back on that old platform for any reason, you still have access to that. You're also still going to be using your same user ID and password that you've always used. Um, so you don't have to get new access or anything like that. You're going to use that same username and password to get into both platforms. All right, now jumping right into some of these new features. I mentioned the um, order cutoff time. So this is something that we just want to call out, make sure that you're aware of, because it's something that you haven't seen on the existing platform. So when you log in hopefully this screen looks somewhat familiar when you first log in you have to choose your delivery date right um, something new that you're going to see here is what i have highlighted in this yellow box so you're going to see when your cutoff time is in order to get this order in for delivery on the day that you have selected the reason i really want to call this out is this may be look a little bit different than what you're used to so maybe your cutoff time is Typically three o'clock, you try to get your order in by three o'clock and you may come in here and it says five o'clock. And I don't want you to think, oh, I have two extra hours to put in my order. Don't change anything with your process. We are calling out the very last time that anyone at GFS can do anything with your order. So if your cutoff time says five o'clock and you put in an order at 4.59 and then you realize you need to change it, we're kind of dead in the water anyone at Gordon Food Service, if you call customer service or your sales rep or anybody else, they're going to be stuck and not be able to do anything with it past that cutoff time as well. So please be aware of that. We don't want you to change your process at all, but we do want you to be aware of that very last time that anyone's going to be able to do anything with your order. All right, next we're going to talk about this guides section of the platform. So I like to call out here, what you're used to in terms of navigation um, for uh, placing your orders is probably that left-hand side, that left-hand menu that you have in the existing platform. That is how you navigate to your order guide, to the catalog, to your my lists. Um, all of that navigation is essentially still here. It's just all kind of scooched up into that top row where it says over on the left, where it says guides, categories, and orders. So all that same left-hand navigation, all of those options are just uh, scooped up into those three tabs. So be aware of that. Starting on this guides page, um, when you click on this, you can see we've got three sections here. So the first one being your order guide. Um, <clears throat> pretty obvious there, you click on that. That is where you get to your GFS managed order guide of items. Now your order guide will auto copy over so whatever your order guide is showing in that old platform, that same information should be showing here. Not a whole lot different there. We also have this um, critical items list. Now the critical items list is brand new. That's something we didn't have in the old platform. What it does is replace that what about screen that you get um, currently on the existing system when you're reviewing your order. It's going to pop up at the top and say, hey, based on your purchase history, here are some of the things you may have missed. Um, now, instead of doing that, what we're doing is allowing you to create a list of items that you want to be remembered to order. So if you always need this specific towel roll, this specific chicken tender, and this specific whatever it is, dozen eggs, I don't know, if you want to add those to a critical items list, Anytime you're placing an order, it's going to remind you on your order review screen, hey, did you forget these items? So really great if you're de delegating the order process to someone else or maybe someone new. 
um, really good peace of mind, kind of a fail safe to make sure you are not forgetting those core items. Now, in, in addition to the order guide and the critical items list, you can also see this custom guide section. Custom guides is just a brand new name for my lists. So you guys are probably familiar um, with the my list section on the existing platform. That is where you can create and manage your own custom order guides. Same idea here. This would be a customer managed order guide that you create and maintain. Um, however, we've just changed the name. So instead of my list, it says custom guides. The other thing to note here is that we no longer have that other tool to create and manage the my list called item list manager is what it's called in that old platform. We don't have to go to item list manager anymore to make changes to lists. We can do all of that within ordering. Cool thing about that is now your sales rep also has access to your custom guides through their employee access to this site, and they can help you manage and maintain some of those lists as well. So easier to use in my opinion, plus we've got extra access for your sales rep, something that we didn't have before. So just a little bit more on this guide section, I just wanna show you guys how easy it is to add items to a guide, whether that's your order guide, a custom guide, or your critical items guide. So anytime you see this triple dot menu where my red arrow is pointing, um, anytime you see those three little dots next to an item, go ahead and click on that. That's just telling you that there's more that you can do with that item. And what you're gonna see is a drop down and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna add this item to a critical items guide? Do you wanna add it to your order guide? Or do you wanna add it to a custom guide? If you wanna add it to a custom guide, which guide do you want to add it to? So really simple and easy way to get those custom guides started and adding items to it with that triple dot menu. I'll also mention here um, this, we've got multiple sort by options. So if you can see kind of in the upper left-hand corner, I've got sort by description right now. So this is something new. You can choose to sort, whether it's your order guide or a custom list, um, you can sort by either the, the description alphabetically, you can sort by item code, or you can do a custom sort um, that you would then dictate in the editing of your order guide. So just be aware of that. You can look at the same list in a couple different ways, whatever may be convenient for you. All right, so this is the one that I think most people are most excited about. It's one of the things we're most excited about is that we're able to connect to live inventory in your warehouse now with this system. So with that being said, this is gonna be dictated with uh, the inventory in the DC based on the delivery date you have selected. So if you selected for your Thursday delivery and your Thursday delivery specifically comes from Grand Rapids, we're gonna know to look at Grand Rapids inventory. Um, so I say that to say, if you don't, anything here it may be because you haven't selected a delivery date yet that is required to be able to view this information so you can see right now I've got in that red box at the very bottom for this specific Sienna bakery cookie cookie I have 193 cases on hand another thing I want to note about this is it's not going this inventory is not going to be depleted until an order is actually submitted and confirmed so just because you or anyone else puts this uh, five cases of this item in your cart, it's not gonna deplete by five until that order is actually submitted. So we're not holding inventory in people's carts. So be aware of that. I think what's more exciting though, um, is the inventory validation. So I don't expect everyone to go into every single item and view that more product details page to see exactly how many cases we have in stock. It's not realistic. What is realistic, and I think what will be very helpful is this validation warnings in terms of inventory. So what we're able to do, since we're connected to live inventory in your DC, is we are able to warn you when you place an item in your cart and that item is out of stock in your warehouse, we're able to warn you ahead of time that that item is out of stock. So this very last example, that shredded cheese, you can see I tried to put one in the cart and it says no stock, temporarily out of stock. So I don't have any in the warehouse at this moment. So it's just warning me if I do place this order for that specific cheese, it's gonna come back and say that this um, item is rejected because we don't have stock. 
it doesn't prevent you from ordering it. It's just warning you ahead of time that it is out of stock and therefore it will reject in that order confirmation. Gives you enough time so you don't have to continue to place orders and wait for that edit to come back, right? And then try to replace those items in a separate order. It gives you time to find a suitable replacement item so you can kind of put through cleaner orders, um, if we could put it that way. In addition to that no stock warning, this next one, the beef burger patties, um, that partial stock warning, so this is pretty cool if you try to put six, in this case, I tried to put six cases of this specific item in my cart. We only have four left in the warehouse. So it's warning me partial stock. We only have four cases available in the warehouse. That way I know I'm gonna need to find a replacement for those other two that I need. We also have a couple other just kind of fail safe warnings, I like to call them. So the one above that, the beef burger patties four ounce, um, that is a repeating digit warning. So anytime I type in, you know, repeating digits. So whether that's 11, 22, 33, it's just gonna pop up and say, hey, you have a repeating digit. Were you going too fast or did you mean to put in 11? Again, just a warning, doesn't prevent anything. Um, just kind of a fail safe for you in case you're going through a little bit too fast and we can fix that before we end up getting 10 more cases of an item that we need. Um, and then lastly, this large quantity, so very similar to repeating digits, anytime you put more than 10 of an item in a cart, we're just going to warn you, hey, that's kind of a lot. Did you mean to order 10 or not? That just gives me an option to change it if I need to before actually submitting the order. All right. Next, I will note, um, this isn't really a new feature, it's just something that I wanna call out. So catalog um, equals categories. So in the old system, what you are used to is, again, over on that left-hand navigation or in the search bar at the very top of the page, you can either search your order guide or the full catalog of items. Um, this, kind of a fun fact, this program is um, used not only by us here in the United States, but also our friends up in Canada and Canada spells catalog different than the US does. So we couldn't really use catalog um, anywhere that specific verbiage anywhere in the system because we didn't want to battle it out with Canada. So instead of using the verbiage catalog, we are using the verbiage categories. So anywhere in the system when you see categories, so specifically up at the top of the page next to that guide section, that tab, um, that just means that you're browsing the, cat the catalog, full catalog of items. So if you click categories, the navigation is very similar. So if you're someone that browsed the catalog that way in the old system, this should look pretty familiar. You see all of these categories and then you click on a specific category and it's gonna break it down by subcategory. Um, the look and feel is different, but essentially nothing has really changed there. So I do wanna call that out. You're not gonna see catalog. The catalog is still in there within that categories section. All right, next we have this product comparison. So this is really cool, we're excited about this. Um, something brand new that we didn't have the ability to do before. So we mentioned those inventory validation warnings. So it's if something's out of stock, we're gonna tell you ahead of time. Now, what's the next step? When something is out of stock, what do you wanna do? Find a suitable replacement. So we're making it easier with this product comparison feature. So you can choose up to five items to compare side by side and you can see when they did when it went through that little scroll through, um, you can see I can compare my case price, my full product description, other product attributes um, to really figure out what my best option is here. And the way to do this is at the when you're um, either browsing the catalog or looking at your order guide, there's going to be a little checkbox that says compare next to each one of these items. You would just check up to five items that you want to compare you'll see that compare button at the very bottom of the screen. And when you click on that, it brings it all together up into this view. Really, really helpful when you're trying to find substitution. So we're excited about this. All right, going through to the shopping cart. Um, this is what your shopping cart is gonna look like. Again, new look and feel. There's some new features in here, but all your core features in terms of a shopping cart are still here. So some of the new things that I wanna call out is this add cart to custom guide little bit of a tweak here than what you're used to so in the old system you know we've been telling people for years and years and years that the quickest and easiest way to get a list created a custom list created is to basically just put through a mock order put one case of everything that you want on your list in your cart as if you are going to place that order 
And then instead of placing the order, you just save that card as a list, right? Um, the one pitfall with that is that anytime we would do that, we would have to create a new list. We couldn't add it to an existing list. Now we can add a full cart um, as a new list. So we can create a new guide just like we did before, but we can also add it to an existing guide. So we don't have to start over every time we do this. So that add cart to custom guide um, is gonna be right up at the top of the page there. Really quick and convenient to add items to your guide that way. Um, also, what I have highlighted in yellow here is move to saved carts. So the saved carts functionality is something that's brand new to us as well. And this is something that people have been asking for um, also for years and years, at least as long as I can remember that they would like to be able to start an order and then come back to it later because maybe they've got an event in two weeks they wanna start an order for, but I actually need to get my order in for tomorrow as well. So I just wanna put it to the side. We don't really have a great way to address that in the existing platform. So we've addressed it with this idea of a saved cart here, which I think is pretty neat. So what you can do, if you notice at the top of the page under where it says shopping cart, I can see active cart and saved carts. Right now I'm looking at my active cart. What I can do if I wanna save this for, for later is move to saved carts. And then it's going to, my active cart is gonna be empty and it's gonna be in my saved carts. Now when it's in my saved carts, that basically takes the ownership away from me as the user. So when you're logged in with your user ID and password, no one else is gonna be able to see your active cart that is private only to you. Once you move it to saved carts, anyone else on the account with access to the account can access that, including your sales rep. So once it's in a saved cart, anyone else is gonna be able to jump in with their own user ID and password, go into saved carts, and they can review it, um, they can move it into their active cart and push it through as needed. So kind of a neat new feature, something that we didn't have before. All right, now we'll go through this um, checkout and critical items list. So we mentioned, I mentioned the critical items list uh, just a little bit ago, kind of explaining what that, what that does. It replaces that what about screen, but the difference is that you get to choose what you wanna be reminded to order. This is an example of your, um, order review screen and what it will look like if you have items on your critical items list. So again, adding to a critical items list, super easy to do. You click on that triple dot menu that you see on any one of those items, add it to a critical items guide. Now, if you have a cart ready to go, you are reviewing that cart. Um, the items that are on your critical items list are not in your cart. They're gonna show up at the top of the page here with the star saying, here are your critical items. Do you need to add these? optional you don't have to you're not required to add these but it's going to remind you at the very end of your order you didn't get your two percent milk you didn't get your eggs and you didn't get your towel roll um so again just another fail site we kind of have built into the system so that you're not forgetting anything that uh, is super important to your business oops there we go all right, next, the suggested substitution. So in the event that you have ordered something that was out of stock, here's an example of what your order confirmation screen is gonna look like, pretty similar to what you're used to in the old platform. Um, you're also gonna see that uh, you've got that little magnifying glass that says find substitute on each one of these items that are out of stock. When you click on that, it's gonna bring up this screen to add your substitute to a new order. So really quick and easy way to just grab something that's similar. If any one of these items looks good to you, you can add it right into your cart to place a new order. Now you'll have to check out a new order from this add substitutes. Um, so similar process to what you're used to now, but as long as you are submitting this order um, for the same delivery date, all that's gonna merge onto one invoice when you get your truck. All right, and last but certainly not least, another one we're really excited about and we've had people um, requesting for a long, long time is the idea to edit or cancel your own order. So if you are used to placing orders in the old platform, you're probably used to putting through your order. As long as it's within two days of your um, truck delivery, you're gonna get an order confirmation and then you're pretty much stuck. Anything that you need to change on that order, so if you need to update an item quantity or you need to um, cancel a line item or maybe cancel that whole order, you're pretty much stuck and you have to call someone at GFS, whether that's customer service or your inside sales rep or your outside sales rep, you would have to call them to make any changes to your order. 
we're now allowing you to edit your own order or cancel your order all the way up until your cutoff time. So remember, we mentioned that cutoff time that you see when you choose your delivery date. It's also a banner at the top of the page saying you have until this time to place your order for this date. As long as it is before that, and it is an item that's editable, so sometimes you're going to see whether if it's a dropship item or if it's like an early cutoff item, you won't be able to edit it, for, but for the most part, you're going to be able to change order quantities, um, cancel a line item, or cancel that whole order all the way up until your cutoff time yourself. You don't have to get anyone else involved. Gives you more autonomy to be able to just pop in and do this and save a few phone calls. So really excited about this new feature. And I think your inside sales reps are probably pretty excited about this new feature as well. Now I'm gonna go back one more slide before we wrap up here, um, because I do wanna mention this feedback tool. So those are all the new features. Um, hopefully you guys feel a little bit more comfortable navigating this new system, but it is a brand new system. So this is something that's still in its infancy. We are still actively building this out. So we wanna hear from you whether it's a feature that you like or you don't like, um, if it's something that you wish it could do better, uh, please let us know. And the way to let us know is to use this feedback function at the bottom of the screen here. So I don't know if that's a good here. This may be a little bit better picture of it. So that little smiley guy, um, he looks kind of like a chat bubble at the very bottom of the screen, that little blue guy, when you click on him, it's gonna pop up and he's gonna ask you to rate your experience. We want to make sure that you're doing that anytime you get frustrated with the program. Um, don't let yourself get frustrated. Let the little chatbot, the feedback tool know because that feedback is going to go directly to our program developers and they use that feedback from you in order to prioritize the new features and functions um, as we're rolling out this platform. So we can tell them all day long and i'm sure that they would agree with this as well your voice is louder than ours so if there's something that you don't like and we say hey customers don't really like this they'd rather hear it from you and again that voice is louder when you say it so the way that you get in touch with our developers is through that feedback tool so please 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 make sure you're using that don't let yourself get frustrated um, also if there's things that you like please let us know we like to hear good feedback as well but it's really there for you so that we can build this out um, in order to best meet your needs specifically. All right, and that is all I have for you guys. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. We look forward to sharing more um, features with this program with you soon. Again, please let us know your feedback and um, enjoy your day. Thanks everyone for coming out.